Okay, so in segment two of lecture 49, we're gonna discuss how we can reduce the temperature, the operating temperature in a CSTR operated at steady state, which is basically example 8-9. طيب, in the previous lecture, or the previous segment of the lecture, I should say, we did the design right and we figured out we did the design calculation through going to the design algorithm and we calculated the resulting temperature and conversion if i use this reactor which is available to me which has a volume of 300 gallon if i operate it adiabatically and and we found that the temperature exceeds the constraint the design constraint which is the temperature of 125 degree Fahrenheit okay so what do we do so I'm not happy about the temperature being or reaching 153 degree Fahrenheit when a steady state is reached which is way higher than the allowed temperature so what do you suggest? What do you suggest? Well, I'm sure you will say, well, do not operate adiabatically, right? Use a cooler and you got it right. Okay, so use heat exchanger, cooling coil, right? We can use a cooling coil to reduce the temperature. But of course, you have to live with the consequences as well. You reduce the temperature, the rate of reaction will reduce, the conversion will reduce as well. And we're going to solve this in example 89A. Then, other solution is to introduce the feed at lower T0. So we lower the feed temperature. Because if I lower the feed temperature, then the temperature inside the reactor will be lower. Okay, and we're going to tackle this uh, problem or solve this problem through this method in example 89B or we can do both together okay and that's the topic of example 8 9 c okay i hope now our strategy is clear to you for the coming three examples طيب, example 8 9 a ccr with a cooling coil so here we're using option one which is cooling the propylene glycol reactor using cooling coil so obviously we're not operating adiabatically a cooling coil is available for use in the hydration of propylene oxide discussed in example 8 8 the cooling coil has 40 feet of cooling surface and the cooling water flow rate inside the coil is sufficiently large that a constant coolant temperature of 85 degree fahrenheit can be maintained a typical overall heat transfer coefficient for such a coil is around 100 BTU per hour per square feet per Fahrenheit. Will the reactor satisfy the previous constraint of 125 degree Fahrenheit maximum temperature? If the cooling coil is used. Okay, so let's solve this problem. And again, we're going to use solve it graphically, okay, which means we're going to use the table constructed and Excel. Okay, what, what, what changes here? What changes? Well, obviously, the mole balance will not change. Okay, we'll still have the same balance. However, we'll need to change that energy balance equation. Why is that? Because now Q is not zero anymore. Q is not zero anymore. So what do you use for that Q dot? Well, let's see. Do we have the TA? Is it constant or variable? Well, it's constant. So it's simply we can write Q dot equals U times A times T outside the reactor, right? Which is TA minus T. So this is how this is how simply we modify the equation. Okay, and of course the shaft work is still almost zero, negligible shaft work. Okay, so 
let's substitute for the value of q dot or for the value for q dot with this equation u times a times t a minus t and we get to write this equation okay now this is the equation of x e b x e b again it's a function of temperature it's a function of temperature we have already x m b that is function of temperature so we can plot them right we can plot them but before we plot them we need to make sure that the tables are correct in excel okay so let's go to excel what changes well very few things so kindly when you go to excel you know the tab you go to the same file that you use to solve the example 88 you go to the tab and right click on the tab you say move and copy so you may make a copy and then you have a new tab you call this new tab 89a the first tab is still you can call it or you should call it 8-8 now we have 8-9a so here we change the following we change the following what changes obviously the only change is related to xeb correct that's the only change that we're going to do where we're going to add the term which is related to u and a and t naught so what do i do here shabab i'll go to the cells heat transfer i typed in the value of u type in the value of a and then of course because of simplification we have this value u a divided by f a naught tamam so now when you enter the equation for x e b you can refer to this value tamam and of course i have added ta you see ta i just plug in 85 and right away automatically it will calculate for me the value in ranking because there's an embedded equation there okay and of course you know how to use solver right you know how to use solver so basically you go through the cells and you say where x m b equals x e b so you can see here the x m b is more than x e b and then later on you will find that x m b is smaller than x e b so you say all well, of the solution is somewhere in between so you come to any of these cells okay any of these cells and then you go to solver you say by changing the value here of this cell by changing the value of the cell and you have a constraint which is this cell should equal this cell and you say solve and it will solve for you and find for you the temperature and now you can see that the temperature the steady state temperature inside the ccr is only 105 which is less than the 125 degree fahrenheit allowable temperature so it, it it meets the temperature constraint right it meets that design constraint but unfortunately we have a lower x lower conversion remember the conversion was 85 percent now it's only 33.6 percent you know you don't expect that you reduce the temperature and do not lose conversion don't expect that you lower the operating temperature that means you'll operate at lower rate of fraction okay having that the same volume you will end up with lower conversion so what's the solution if you want higher conversion but you don't want to increase the temperature basically you'll increase the volume you'll increase the volume and still there you have an issue with the temperature so probably you will need to cool more okay so all of this you can figure out by using the excel sheet okay let's go to the final slide where we show you the solution graphically as you can see the solution is here we have intersection between x and b and x e b somewhere here so that's the temperature and that's the conversion which is around 33.6 percent okay so with this we finish today's lecture and see you soon on the following lecture